It's time for Encanto Movie Reviews. Monster House, but nice and pretty. Quirky autistic bi teen gets no attention, so she joins the demolition crew and tears home down. Grill? Same. I too like to explore generational trauma through song. Dolores, reporting live from Family Madrigal's business. Area grandma with savior complex struggles to accept queer son and granddaughter. Proof that old people are annoying. I would have beat the crap out of Abuela, but I know that's not what we're trying to teach the kids. The moral of the story is that sometimes it's okay to dislike the elderly. The hashtag real target audience for this movie is kidults in their 20s that have family issues. Me. I don't understand the candle magic rules. Did Mirabelle just not get powers because her abuela's a jerk? Unclear. Bro, she says she has no powers. Meanwhile, she stops time in that one song. Maybe your gift is being in denial. Emotional damage! Her real powers were therapizing. No wonder why her family was distancing themselves from her. Not this poor kid having to be the entire family's unpaid therapist. She better have gotten the best room. If anyone shames you for crying over a doorknob, just know you're valid and I am with you. I too cried over a doorknob. Don't let them bring you down. Crying over inanimate objects and moments about them is normal. The individual room tours are needed ASAP. Mirabelle, start a YouTube channel. I want to see a house tour. It isn't right that there are so few films with capybaras. With their quiet beauty and grace, expressive eyes, and hypnotic personalities, there is no reason for their appearances in media and merchandise to be so sparse. I will not stand by quietly anymore. The capybara revolution must begin! I wish I was a capybara. I didn't think it was possible to love every single character in a movie. Your favorite Encanto character says more about you than your zodiac sign. Love how in Luisa's song, Miss Girl was having a full existential crisis while doing TikTok dances with donkeys. The donkeys dancing was the best part of the whole film, and you can't deny that. I know you enjoyed it too. Luisa is literally one of Disney's best characters. I need to see her and Kronk fist bump. I want to grate cheese on Luisa's abs and give her a kiss. Bro, okay, so like, say what you want about if you think they reused previous character models in this, but you can't look at that love interest guy and say it isn't Flynn Rider, cause it is. They even have him get his nose hurt twice. This can't be a coincidence. Justice for Camilo and Dolores. They deserve their own song. Camilo Madrigal is that cousin that isn't your cousin, but you say it's your cousin. I aspire to have the commitment of that one lady with the dead fish. She really kept that fish's corpse all these years, knowing one day she could use it in a musical number. Every character in this movie after saying they shouldn't talk about Bruno. He didn't say I couldn't say! Well, alright. Wow, guys, way to throw Bruno under the bus just so you could have an excuse to sing a catchy song. I have listened to We Don't Talk About Bruno 70 times. Please, Disney, how do I make it stop? Dolores tells the heartbreaking story of Bruno and how his family fears him. Camilo. Bruno living in that family's mind rent free. And their walls. Living with rats really is better than living with a judgmental family. Why am I always drawn to the never seen daylight, sad gay uncles? Shout out to everyone who took one look at Bruno and said, I can fix him. Haven't stopped thinking about Bruno since my first watch. He is occupying my every thought. My tiny little sandy rat man. I can't breathe. I seriously love him so bad. I'm really gonna need them to stop making these animated characters so fine. Bruno, hot. Mirabelle's dad, hot. Dolores, hot. Julieta, hot. Peppa, hot. I relate to Peppa because if I had a gift, I imagine it would also be moderately inconvenient at best. 
I think it was pretty hilarious that all it took was a hug for the girl that loves flowers to instantly turn into any edgy millennial. If Isabella grew weed, this family would have had no problems. Relating to all three of the Madrigal sisters is a hard job, but someone's gotta do it. And that someone is me. Made me hungry. Can Julieta's arepas heal my crippling anxiety? If every movie had a chaotic dinner scene, then movies would be in a pretty good state. Can't believe that they made Columbia because of this movie. Ugh, please, just make a series two so I can spend more time with the Madrigals. Like every movie ever made, I went from this movie's number one hater to joining its fan cult. Welcome to the family, Madrigal! I will shoot myself in the foot if I hear the word Madrigal one more time. Do the rats get to live in the main part of the casita now, or do they keep chilling in the walls? Thank you to whoever suggested I do Encanto movie reviews, and of course, thank you to you all for watching it. Have a wonderful day, be kind to yourself, and I will see you in the next video.